Happy morning children. Now we are going to see computer fundamentals. Computer fundamentals means computer basics which is used to operate the computer. Okay, just listen. Before that we need to know what is computer. Computer is an electronic data processing machine which performs millions of tasks with the tremendous speed. Terminal speed means very high speed. Okay, the capacity of storing the large number of data, large volume of data. It has capacity of storing large volume of data for lifelong. Lifelong, we can store the data in the computer and for the future use, we can take it and use as a in futures. Okay, then. Each and the I have sent the qualities now with that quality we can use the computer in each and everywhere. For example, now we are using in our homes also home, office, school, railway station. So so many times, so many ways we can use the computer in shops also they are using the computer for the billing process. So so many places we are using the computer each and everywhere now we are using the computer now so it is now we are going to see that that basics what are the basics we need to follow in the computer so for that we need to communicate with the computer means what we need first in a hardware we need input device output device that and all now as a software what are the things we need to know okay we will see so to communicate with the com computer we need some languages so we are interacting with each other means we know some languages called Tamil, Hindi, <coughs> English, Malayalam like that we know the languages so like that to interact with the computer also we need some languages to interact so here the basically two types of languages are there one is low level language And another one is high level language. Okay, there are two types of languages. One is called a low level language, another one is called as a high level language. So now listen here low level language. is the basic language is easily understood by the computer low level language can be easily understood by the computer for example now we are speaking to you so if it is your mother tongue is english you can easily can understood or if your mother tongue is tamil or malayalam means you will little struggle if you don't know really english means you will struggle with this language so the same way if we talk to the computer, it can't be able to understand properly. So, for that, we need two languages. One is low level languages and the high level languages. In it, low level languages is more appropriate to the computer. So, it will easily understood how to communicate with uh, the user. So, it is a low level languages and a high level languages. It has two level languages. So in it we are going to see the low level languages. So listen. So low level languages is classified into two ways. One is machine languages and assembly language. Low level languages is classified into two ways. One is machine language. Another one is assembly language. One is machine languages, another one is assembly languages. Machine languages is nothing but my it is an zeros and ones. Zeros and ones is called a binary values, binary languages. So binary languages means zeros and ones. It will take the input as a zeros and ones. 
if we use a low level languages means it has value to each and every letter so why it will consider as a it will convert into the zeros and ones then only it can understood Machine level languages is the lowest form of computer languages which is easily understood by the computer. So it is used as a binary values. It is used as binary values. So which is the programming coding is all done by the binary values. Which one is zeros, ones only. Zeros and ones. This language is called the final language. That only I have said. So, machine languages is the lowest form of computer language which the computer can understood easily. So, it the programming codes are created through this languages codes, binary codes. So, it is called the zeros and one. The machine level machine language is also called as a binary language. Next, assembly languages. What is it? Assembly languages. assembly language assembly languages means symbolic assembly languages is also called as a symbolic language symbolic means what for giving some instruction as a symbolic now so if we call the person so what the, you need to call that person's name and you need to call him so for instead of that we can start call mm, hey boy come here like that, without calling his name, we can give him some other instruction now. So, symbolically we are calling. So, the same way, computer languages also have as, some symbolic codes. So, it is called a, assembly languages is also called as a symbolic languages. Man, mainly developed to reduce the burden of the programmer or user. So, if it is, if it is, we need to coding more uh, complex program means if it is, Zeros and ones only we need to use means it will very burden now. So it is very useful for the user in assembly languages because it has some symbolic codes. Nearly four letter words called as a keywords. That is a for, for example add. Add means what? It is called a mnemo mnemonic codes. Okay. What is it? Mnemonic codes. This is add. S U V sub next is M U L T mult. So what are the this? Add means addition. Sub means subtraction. Next mult mult means multiplication. Multiplication. Next, div. Division. Like that. So, these are the mnemonic codes. What is it? The assembly languages is a, has a unique code called the mnemonic code. It is the abbreviation of the this process. Okay. Mm, if we put add means it will do the addition, sub means subtraction, mult means multiplication, div means division. So like that, in, in means input. It will read the input, out what it means, OUT, out means it will use the output, sense the output to output value. So it, these are the things which is used in the assembly languages. Next, we are going to see the high level languages.
high level language this high level languages is developed in the year 1950s 